Hey, it's um, Heretic of You. It is late at night, and uh, I'm going to call this video, maybe it'll be a series of videos called Late Night Rambling, where um, I spew random crap out of my head before I go to sleep. So, right now it is 1047, and I've been doing a lot of painting, and I just want to show you some some of the stuff that I've been working on. So let's get to it. Okay, let me get this in focus here. So we got uh, two models, or three models, two of which are um, commission pieces, and one is for me. So uh, when I was, I've been working on a lot of different models for different types of games and I thought it would be a great way to segue into um, my experiences uh, since I've left um, 40k um, I've tried out several different games and I thought well you know what maybe I should uh, share with you a quick review uh, so um, first game I've talked a lot about I've shot a lot of videos that would be uh, Stopian Wars and I've gotten a few emails on people wondering what's going on with my Dystopian Wars uh, battle reports and so I thought I would update you guys anyone who is wondering the reason why I haven't uploaded any Dystopian Wars uh, sadly, the uh, game store where I used to run it has uh, closed its doors, and the group that um, I've played with have um, everyone's kind of splintered off, and so I kind of have to rebuild at the new place that I game at. So it's unfortunate that you know stores or game stores are closing down. I've tried, you know, I personally tried to help them out as much as I, as I could have, but, um, you know, the economy and the price of, um, this hobby going up, um, and, you know, online sales from other stores just sort of, um, you know, it was just too much. So, um, you know, I wish the best for uh, Sinobio and his family, and um, he is looking to reopen, so hopefully um, that happens, and I can reunite, re reunite with the uh, Dystopian War uh, crew. In lieu of that, um, you know, I'm, I'm stuck with trying to uh, rebuild a new Dystopian Wars group that was probably the only thing holding me back from going full throttle with that game because it's really my uh, second favorite game um, since I've left 40k and it pretty much would have been the replacement for 40k but we'll see we'll see what um, what happens with this new place that I'm gaming at um, the other game I tried was um, Dust Tactics. Now, Dust Tactics had um, a lot of potential. I mean, it was cheap to get into. The models were great. Um, my biggest complaint, and it was really the nail in the coffin for me, was that the rules were just too simplistic. And uh, quite honestly, it was uninteresting. And for me, um, your average gamer uh, I just don't have the disposable income to just you know throw money willy-nilly at a game so if a, if I'm going to spend my money it has to be a game that I'm going to be willing to support and unfortunately dust tactics uh, fell short on that list um, I also tried a uh, game that I don't think a lot of people know about. It's called Please Stand By. Now that's a fun game. Uh, it's simplistic, but it um, 
it has a lot of customization options it's a a zombie uh, survival game and you can play it in different years um, you know there's modern World War II uh, medieval and uh, it's a really fun game it's just really hard to um, get people interested in it so I never um, as of yet I have not invested in it I'm gonna show you some close-ups of it's my Empire General I did throw the disclaimer that this is gonna be just random thoughts so um, the next game that I actually put some money into I was so impressed was uh, War Machine I had a lot of prejudices this is my uh, this is not a commission job so I put a lot less time into it um, and it was purchased second hand so I kind of just um, touched up the existing paint job and kind of redid it so it can match um, the paints that I have but um, going back to the game itself War Machine uh, was a pleasant surprise for me because I had a lot of preconceptions I actually thought it was going to be like a 40k clone and that's why I never got into it and um, after a few games I quickly realized that it's very different and as opposed to let's say dust tactics um, War Machine is very complex a lot of tactical options and uh, just to give you a quick story uh, dust tactics I was playing with like four or five different units and it, the game was for some reason less um, I had less tactical thought than War Machine and I, and I, I played them in the you know basically the same day and um, I had like three models I had the starter box set basically for uh, War Machine and that that says uh, a lot about a game where you have three models and you are planning your turns ahead of time and you are you're not just trying to learn the rules but you're you're trying to come up with uh, interesting uh, tactics to try to thwart your opponent so so after that couple of games I've decided to play Mercs and this is my first almost completed model I still got not happy with that little staff there but like I said this is for me so this is more like tabletop quality where this is for um, someone else and so I put a little bit more more time into it so um, War Machine got me to open my wallet which is um, really it, it hits um, for me it hits the four main factors right of a game it uh, has interesting models great looking models um, it uh, its rule set is nice more importantly uh, there's a flow to the game and I think that's what uh, a lot of games a lot of these other games that I've discovered don't really have that flow now war machine's been out a long time so they've had a time you know time to fine-tune it but uh, nevertheless it 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 has the has it has the models it has the community support it has um, really great rules and it has um, lots of tactical options like I said even with a uh, small battle group I was able to um, you know really get into it so it, it, it was an engaging game surprisingly with you know three models um, let's see what else have I been playing uh, Blood Bowl which is a game that I played alongside of 40k but I've been playing more Blood Bowl than anything else and to me um, Blood Bowl hits on all four of those categories I mentioned with War Machine except it, it actually um, has two other very strong points to it it has a low price point 
you know, you can get in for like thirty dollars to a hundred dollars. And um, one of the best campaign modes, and I'm a sucker for you know ongoing games. It just makes me feel like I'm playing something a little bit um, more uh, story driven and, and narrative, and it. Uh, it, it, it really is quite different from the other games that I've played so I would say uh, of the games that I've been playing I would have to rank Dystopian Wars at at number one well, let's go with Blood Bowl at one Dystopian Wars at two War Machine at three and uh, everything else is kind of pfft, so those are going to be the three games that I'm going to support now if the 6th edition 40k is any anything that what people are you know anything if it lives up to half of what the rumors are in I will be taking a second look at that so um, that will be um, you know time will tell I am interested in Malifaux. I just got to find some other people that have tried it. So I know that Viv uh, plays it over at his store. And so, um, you know, anyone else, for some reason, if you're still watching me ramble and you've tried out Malifaux, um, shoot some comments down. Anyways, these are my models and I'm happy with the way the nurse came out and the Empire General still working on my Merc mm. he'll do for now but I'm just not I don't know I, I've seen other people's work on War Machines and, and, and it seems like they just stand out a lot more anyways probably just gonna hit the sack now that's all I had to say and uh, yep yeah, it's all you know my comments are all over the place and it's rambling and everything but that's really the point because I'm deadbeat tired and I just thought I would spew my thoughts out there so I hope you enjoyed whatever we were doing see you next time